Hi, my name is Joan Hughes and this is ECDL Word Processing Module 3, Assignments 31 to 40 support video. So, the first thing we need to do is open the document Word. So I'm going to select the file ribbon and in this backstage view I'm going to select open. In the left pane I'm going to select desktop, locate my M3 folder and then I'm going to locate the document Word. <coughs> it now tells me to save the document as Word 4. So I'm going to go back to the file ribbon. I'm going to go to Save As in the backstage view. And in here, I'm going to change it to display Word 4. Now, I, below the text, I want to insert a table, but just before I do that, I want to correct the spelling, so once again, I'm right clicking, and that looks better. So to insert a table, I want to have three columns, which columns go down, rows go across. So I'm going to go to the insert ribbon, table, so one, two, three columns, and four rows. So this is a column, so columns go down. And this would be a row. If I want to select all of the table, I can click this little button here and it allows me to select the whole table. But at the moment, I want to select all of the table so I can change the line thickness to one point. So I click it once. I go to my home ribbon and in that paragraph section, I'm back to the borders button. I'm going down to the very end where it says borders and shading and selecting it. I'm making sure it selects all. And I'm going to change the line thickness to two and a quarter. I'm going to click OK and you can see how this has been changed. Now I want to add some shading to this first row on the table. So I'm going to highlight the first row. And beside the borders button, there's this shading button in the paragraph section. So I'm going to click it once and I'm going to choose a light gray shading as the background. Now I need to insert some information into the table. So I'm going to type it in. And now I have it all in. So the next thing I want to do is with the pricing here, I want to line them up by decimal point away from the edge of the cell. So I'm going to highlight the three numbers. And if you remember the tabs button we used before, we only used the left one yet. So I'm going to click it again. I don't want the center one or the right. I want this decimal one, which looks like the center but with a little dot on it. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to set it at about 12. And when I select it, you can see that the prices have been lined up by decimal point. Just to demonstrate that a little further, instead of 39, I'm going to change that to 390. And you can see it still hasn't changed the decimalization as it's lined up. I'm going to change the 23 to 3 euro. And it's still lined up by decimal point. So now I want to change the headings in row one to bold and italic. So I'm going to highlight the headings. I'm going up into the font section here. I'm going to select B for bold and I for italic. Now I want to change the width of the columns. So I'm going to select all of the table. And then I'm going to go to my layout ribbon, which has appeared on the very far right hand side. I'm going to select it once. And in here in cell size, the second option here is the width. I'm going to change that down to 3.5.
The next thing I want to do is I want to insert a blank row beneath row one. So I'm going to click anywhere in row one. It doesn't matter where. And here in the row and column section of this layout ribbon, it says insert below. So I click it once and it's inserted the row below. Now, don't want grey shading. I want blue shading in this row. So I'm going to highlight it on the home ribbon. I'm going into the paragraph section to the shading and I'm going to change it to a blue. Now, I want to insert today's date into the header, but I don't want to type it in. So first I'm going to open the header by going insert and at the header and footer section, I'm going to select header and I'm going to choose the blank one. But at this stage, I'm going to use a menu to insert this. So I'm going to go to the insert ribbon and over here in the text section, I'm going to choose date and time. So as you can see, there's many different layouts that you can use. And I'm going to use the second option here where it also displays the name of the day. I'm also going to say I want it updated automatically. So when I open up, it updates to the current date. I'm going to click OK and it's placed it in here. Now, if I want, I can go back to the design ribbon and choose close here. Or I can move down anywhere into the center of my page and click twice and it closes the header and footer. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the top and bottom margins to three centimeters. That means I'm changing the non-print area. As you can see here, there is no text here in this left margin or anywhere here in this right. And same at the top. And if we scroll down, the bottom is set the same. So I'm going to my page layout ribbon. In the page setup section, I'm going to margins. And at the very end, I'm going to custom. So I said I wanted to change the top and bottom to three centimeters. So I'm going to select this one and change it to three and then the bottom and change it to three. And I'm going to click OK. Now the last thing, second last thing actually I think I'm going to do is I'm going to insert automatic hyphenation. So the what is hyphenation? Well hyphenation is where a word doesn't have enough space on this sentence and moves on here. Instead it breaks the word over the sentence. Not something I'm particularly fond of using in documents as it makes it more difficult to read. But let's do it. Hyphenation is on your page layout ribbon in the page setup section. I click it once and I choose automatic. And autom automatically here you can see it's broken the word market, processing, and it makes it a little more difficult to read a document. But once again, it's nice to know how to do it. So now the next thing I want to do is save and close. So once again into the file ribbon, backstage view, select save, file ribbon, backstage view, and close. Thank you.